Brandon, a, a couple of the guys mentioned how excited you were um, after last week's game about maybe being able to get in the flow of the offense. What, what did it mean today to, to produce the way you did and, and to come into the game knowing that you're going to be a, a focal point of the game plan? Yeah, um, last week, last week was, it was fun to get out there, get my feet wet a little bit, but um, this week I was just excited to come back um, and play the next game just because um, I got that feeling of what it, just got the feeling out the way of um, not knowing what it would, what it would be like out there. So um, after I got that out the way, I was um, excited to get to work this week and um, knew I'd be more of a, um, an option on the offense. So it was, it was, it was a fun week and exciting. And, um, glad that the week of practice um, somewhat translated into the game. Still a lot of things to clean up, but um, steps in the right direction. Hey, Brandon, I want to get into the wide receiver's mind on a reverse that works. Once you clear the backfield, you know the play's not going to get blown up in the backfield, and you see those big blockers in front of you. Uh, what, what's going through your mind at, at that point? Well, I mean, um, Kyle always puts us in the best positions. That's something I learned really quickly. So when that play was called, I was um, I was expecting it to be an explosive. We talked about it all week. So. Um, when I got out there, when I got the ball and I saw a lot of white in front of me, um, I just had um, just had to finish it and do the rest. Um, but I think Juice had a great block out there. Um, I can't remember who else was out in front of me, but credit to those guys because um, they were rolling and um, cleared the lane for me. Hey, Brandon, uh, Kyle Shanahan said that you, you had left a couple plays out there in the first half, and uh, he was proud of you for picking it up in the second half and turning it on. What what was the conversation like with Kyle? And what were the things that maybe you missed in the first half that were working for you in the second? Um, just little things, little things um, within plays um, that we've been talking that we've talked about, um, or me missing or me not seeing it. Um, so just little things. Um, that's something that I've also learned really quickly that a lot of the little things matter, um, and everything's magnified. So um, just those little details again. Um, just continue to work at those and clean those things up, and just continue to work and try to play a perfect game, which. Um, it, it's hard to do, but um, just practice and work um, to do that. Brandon, Nick Mullen said that coming off the field last week, one of his favorite things was your excitement to get back out on the out on field. Can you tell us about that? And then also, was this your plan? Like, was this the plan to have you so involved in the game this week? Um, yeah, I mean, with um, getting back to work, um, I just felt, like I said, I felt like um, last week was getting my feet wet, so I, was, I understood what I was getting, what I was into, um, and understood um, how the game worked. So um, I kind of got those jitters out the way and was able to just come into this week and play. So I was definitely excited to um, go into this week of practice, into this game. Um, and then, um, sorry, I can't remember what your second question was. Were you expecting to get this much of the workload this week? Um, I mean, we just, we just, I felt like I was involved at practice. Um, and you never really know, um, but you just take every single week and every single day as if you're the focal point of the offense and that's how you get better. And then hopefully it translates to the game and you get those um, targets. Two more for Brandon. Brandon, Kyle said that, you know, the mood was kind of down Monday, Tuesday, and that it really picked up on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. He was really impressed. What was it that changed? Was it was it just an energy level, uh, just kind of thinking about getting the injuries out of the way? What what really changed later in the week? I mean, obviously we were we were pretty down about the guys that we lost last week, um, Monday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Um, but when Wednesday came, Wednesday was a new week, so we just um, take the mindset that we're going to go out there and play for those guys that we lost, and um, those guys went down, and we really have. We just really had to attack this week of practice and go play for those guys this week. So I think when Wednesday came, um, we understood that it was a new week and a, a new obstacles, and we just had to we had a clean slate um, and just attack the week. Brandon, how would you describe uh, Nick Mullins' demeanor uh, in the huddle and just how today's game went with him? Yeah, Nick's great um, in the huddle. Um, he's calm. He gets us going. Um, and just throughout the week of practice, we understood what we were getting from Nick. Well, I did. I understood what I was getting from Nick early on in the week. Um, and I think he, he did a great job, um, especially uh, talking to me when I had, like we talked about those, some of those mistakes that I made, just keep me up, keep me involved, um, and just keep my head right. Make sure you subscribe.